Hi everyone, so sorry this took a little bit longer than expected. Uh, I did end up coming down with something and I've not been feeling great. But I'm going to do the book tour. I'm not sure how thorough you wanted me to be with this. Um, so I'm just going to point out books that are interesting to me and hopefully try to keep the camera a little bit steady. Sorry about that. Um, so I have Alice in Wonderland, which is awesome. I have a lot of those um, Barnes & Noble copies. People ask all the time what, um, what version of Sherlock Holmes this one is getting back to that it's the Barnes and Noble copy I don't know if they make that specific one anymore but you can get like these really cool ones and they're only like well it's like 10 for that fancy and then 20 for that fancy but there are sales all the time which is when I get them um so do that uh Tale of Despero one of my favorite children's lit books it's very good it was very important to me as a kid I really like books that have a narrator like that um sometimes people ask me you know oh what if a book in a series is different colors do you shelve them to no no, so you're gonna see a lot of a uh, series of unfortunate events scattered around along with um I have Percy Jackson still I liked it in high school. Um I have a copy of an Imperial Affliction, which is a fake book from a book by John Green, and I um charity donated to get that. So I have that. That's cool. Life of Pi, very, very good book. Highly recommend. I people know I like Sherlock, so I tend to get gifts like that. <laughs> um let's see, next shelf. Um another childhood favorite, Prophecy of the Stones. A book about a neogram typing that I have. Uh, what uh, people always are like, is that beekeeping for dummies in the background? Is that a Sherlock reference? No, I want to keep bees someday, and I really like, I really, really like bees. That is a real tattoo. <laughs> but yeah, so I have this this beekeeping section. They just all happen to be yellowish, so they all go around here. Um, Jeffrey Eugenides is good. This is the copy of. Um, Pride and Prejudice that was in You've Got Mail, not the exact copy, but it's the version, like, with this cover that was in the movie You've Got Mail, which I used to like a lot in high school, so my mom got that for me, which was very sweet of her. Um, Ernest Hemingway, which, uh, some of my books I have because some of my favorite English professors really liked the author, so one of my English professors really liked Ernest Hemingway, so my parents got that for me. Um, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, good special copy. Again, you can see I used to be a pretty big John Green fan a couple years ago. Not so much anymore. Not that I'm like thoroughly anti, but eh, I don't know. I just am into different stuff now. Um, so yeah, again, you can see that influence. Uh, fangirl that my parents, I read it. It's okay. You can try it, you know, to see if it's for you, I guess. Um, wasn't really for me, but again, uh, some Oscar Wilde we have in there. Um, Huck Finn, can see monk books that I have, another copy of All Our Stars, again, past John Greenboy, uh, vegetarian cookbook, not that I cook, but I am vegetarian, so, you know, in case I ever want to learn to cook, I have ways, and I have that baking, I love, I love Alton Brown, um, and I don't know if his influence shows up, but it's like that kind of, like, fast talking with annotations and the kind of sense of humor, I think I was very much influenced by that, and Adam Ruins Everything, and things like that, as far as tone goes, um, but yeah, that's, that was a fun show. Anyway, I'm, I'm jumping all over the place. Sorry. Uh, this is a piggy bank, in case you can't tell. This has um, clothespins in it, which I usually, well, I was using to put pictures up there. Sometimes I use for making pillow for, I just have clothespins in my room. That's what that is. Um, next shelf we have, what's fun here? Uh, oh, this Harry Potter book. What will happen in book seven? My favorite thing about this is that it had a chart of um, least likely to most likely to die. They listed Dobby as the least likely. But, oh, that's spoilers. Sorry. Harry Potter spoilers. Whoops. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Um, anyway. House of Sand and Fog, a book I read in um, one of my favorite classes I ever took. That's a good one. We have Macbeth. We have, I don't know, a lot of series of unfortunate events. Princess Bride. You can see over there. Uh, I don't, I, I, I don't know. Um, this was a gift to me from uh, Stacey. That was nice of her to give this to me. And we have, let's see, art book by Faye Fatalities, which is awesome. Love this art. Very good inside. Look at that. That's going to be worth a lot someday. Uh, and we have, let's see, Book Thief. A lot of YA in the black covers section, I guess. To be or not to be, this was if you were on my Tumblr the other day. This is the book I recommended. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure version of Hamlet. They just made one of Romeo and Juliet, which I don't have yet. But it's very good, very enjoyable. Some Stephanie Meyer, shush, um, some <laughs> manga, which is even more embarrassing. I have all the original Yu-Gi-Oh! mangas, and then Kingdom Hearts, and Spirited Away, and Ponyo. Um, you'll see some of these have library stickers. I didn't steal them. I, uh, when I was working as a student in my local public library, they used to, um, you know, they would discard books, um, some that weren't striking high, as though if I saw ones I liked. 
I would take them. Uh, you're allowed to do that. I wasn't like breaking any rules, so don't report me. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, books about actresses I like, my Wii controllers, we have Lewis Carroll books, we have Choose Your Own Neil Patrick Harris, uh, what knitting books I knit, as you will see in a minute, lots and lots of Shakespeare over here, C.S. Lewis, uh, Stuart Little, got some Frankenstein, got the, uh, I regret buying that because I, I didn't realize it was top lock, so if you, if you want that sort of thing, I recommend, uh, uh, compound a felony over that, uh, but that's, yeah, <laughs> don't go for that one, basically, um, yeah, so that's, that's that shelf, those are my main books, so there's that, and then this used to be my only honor shelf, it still is kind of my main one, um, so people ask me for books about, um, literary studies, here are some ones I have, this is the exception, this is a book that given to me by an English professor, because I took um, an independent study Victorian literature course, is anyone surprised? Uh, and that was one of the poems we read was the Rubiat, and he gave me his fancy copy, which was very, very kind of him. Um, so yeah, we have some of these books. I recommend all of them. How to read novels like a professor, how to read literature. I have two copies of this, which is why I was like, which copy? I have, I have multiple copies of that. The other one's over there, over there. We'll see it in just a minute. Um, these are cool. Uh, this is like about the making of the English language and how the dictionary was decided. That's really cool. And then dictionary of terms, um, my fancy Harry Potters, <sighs> um, Sherlock books. This can't wait to get into these very soon. Uh, this one's cool. Lots of, again, I recommend getting both of these if you can and you're interested in Sherlock. This one has lots of, um, like deleted scenes and there's this really adorable section where uh, Mark and Steven wrote it like Sherlock was deducing them and saying how excited they were to be making the story. It was just so cute. Like, I love them. Um, this is hell because it has domestic sticky notes in it from Sherlock and John to each other. And it's just the worst thing. Um, so get that. Then we have my copies of Sherlock, All But the Abominable Bride, which is currently out because I'm working on that. Um, Private Life Sherlock Holmes, my fanciest copy of Sherlock Holmes. And this, which has stuff inside it, but I won't tell you what's inside it, because I have to keep mystery somehow. And then we get my next shelf, which is kind of like a display. Um, we have my book stamp. You can stamp things. Stamp book. Oh, did that stamp the shelf? No, it didn't. Okay. And then we have some of my pop dolls. Um, this is currently the villain's shelf, and then Sherlock with his skull is stuck with all the villains. Which is sad. This, it, you know that there's not, they don't make Mary pop dolls. Um, <laughs> that was a different pop doll, and I've just decided that it's Mary now. So there's that. She's with the villains. And I put uh, Mycroft on that shelf. Oh no! Uh, uh, Disney thing that my best friend in high school gave to me. Really love this game. Very good. It, lots of gay subtext. Like, I loved it for that reason in high school, even though I hadn't even come close to dealing with that. So, I, Final Fantasy 13. It's very good. I, everyone hates it, but I love it so much. Um, then we have this shelf uh, with. I, this was a tea tin. This is a mini cooper that's busted. I broke it. Um, all of my mini pins that I have, except for the ones I'm taking to Sherlock Seattle with me, because those are over there in my... Wait, no! Oh, I already put them in my luggage. Uh, <laughs> I'm packed early. Anyway, so most of my buttons are in there, except for my most favorites. Um, this art that Lucy Cloud Melon drew for me for my birthday a couple years ago, and I just love it. Like, and he's like... <gasps> Little exclamation point. It's the best part. I love it. Um, and the tea below. She's just, she's wonderful. I love, follow Lucy Cloudman. Um, anyway, kissing pop dolls, sad pop doll over there. Um, these special buttons, which if you're going to Sherlock Seattle and you see me, you're going to get one of these. If you, you know, if I don't run out, I doubt I'm going to run out because I wore probably way more than I need. But these are cool. Look, get ready to, it's like actually on a button. Um, of Cowardice and Kings, Rory drew that for me. So that was, Again, very nice of him. People are awesome. Um, a version of me playing the flute because I played the flute in band in high school. Okay, um, then we start getting into video games. So this is my video game display shelf. Uh, this thing holds my DS. Or it doesn't because my DS is charging, which you already saw. But it's usually my DS holder. It's like a Zelda pouch. I really like Zelda. Um, miniature Zelda. Zelda. Lots of Zelda games. This was a Zelda biscotti thing. And then the other series I like, including Life of Pooh Strange. Very, very good. The ending is disappointing, but besides that, um, Kingdom Hearts. Final Fantasy XIII is usually here, but I have it out because I was playing it. So just the Final Fantasy XIII 2 is there. 
Um, below that, we have some of my DVDs. My DVDs, these are all the DVDs that I have, so you'll notice Lisa Bant Diaries over there, Avatar, I don't know what else is interesting here, Imitation Game, Pride, lots of gay stuff, words and pictures. These are not in order, they were in order, and then I just get lazy and put them on the top, and I'm done. So, there's that. Um, yeah, those are DVDs, I don't know. Let me zoom in closer so you can look at them, if you want to. Lots of, lots of children's movies, you know, lots of, lots of children's content. Then we have video games and guidebooks. Um, again, I do like playing video games quite a lot. I have less time for it nowadays, but these are the video games that I have. Woo. Video games. Yay. Very exciting. Um, yeah, and my little link. That was, that was fun. That was actually the first thing I bought with my first paycheck, uh, when I started working, so that was pretty funny. Um, let me get up here. This is what this looks like when it's not currently being, uh, I also need to pick this because like these are supposed to be stacked behind here and it's just a mess because this, this always falls and the skull, you, this one's with the villains because it keeps breaking. Like this skull has fallen out of his hand multiple times because he keeps falling over and I hate it. Um, so that's what that looks like when I'm not using it. Um, yeah, this is, I recently remake this in, re remade, remade this into my, uh, honors lit study shelf so we have um either books that I personally like or by authors that I like or by um things that I know my English professors like it makes me happy um and then we have just some gay jokes we have cheap gay joke probably no uh sorry that's running joke again um how to read literature like a professor my other copy I'm trying to remember which one is the one I write in I don't remember right now I'd show you <laughs> I've marked one of them all up um film studies which I did a little bit, I did very little of that in undergrad because the, my schools didn't offer it and I'm very sad about that. Um, this is one of my favorite poems, The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock. I know it ruins my whole T equals gay aesthetic, but it doesn't apply to real life. Okay, this is a very good poem and I like it. Uh, my other copy of Sherlock Holmes, more books. This one about fan fiction is very interesting. Picture of Dorian Gray, lots of, oh, happy birthday, uh, Oscar Wilde too to you today. Um, so yeah, there's that. My elephant in the room. Mini elephant. Baker Street. Yeah, that's what that shelf looks like. Um, art people have drawn of me. Because, I, and I, some of them have to go over there and it makes me sad because they're all good. Billy the Skull, my friend, Billy the Skull. Um, but yeah, these are so good and I, it just, people are so nice. Thank you for drawing me. A couple of these are by Lucy Cloud Melon. Some of them are by, um, oh, uh, Emerald Space. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember. Emily's username, maybe that one's very good. And then we have, um, yeah, just lots, lots of good art. I just love it. It's very good. Then this is just kind of like the miscellaneous shelf. I do have clutter. Um, these are, this is the camera stand. <laughs> Essentially, that's my camera stand. Um, then we have this disco ball thing, some frames, this artwork that I need to hang up at some point. It's of Sherlock and John being cute in the rain. Some other art I've gotten recently that I need to hang up. Anyway, um, then we have my textbooks, including the ones I'm currently using. I go to school for library science, if you don't know that. Uh, grad school, I will be done in a few months though. And then this has current knitting projects inside of it. Uh, and then my yarn. And that is my bookshelves. So that took a while. See, I cannot make a short video for the life of me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this to tour of my bookshelf. Goodbye.